Yeah, this is our lesson related to the topic of by tea. Yeah, by tea. Now, by tea means again my house. Okay, now let us read this together. Haza hewar. So again, this is the hewar. This is a conversation. Hewar baina zulfa wa rania. Zulfa wa rania. So uh, what do you think? Is zulfa a girl or a man? What about rania? A girl or a boy? Zulfa, Rania, a girl. Yes, both of them are girls. Yeah, Zulfa and also Rania. Nam, Rania. Okay. Nam, let us read together. Iqra'u. Assalamu alaikum ya Rania. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Next one, Ikra'u. Aina baituki. Aina baituki. Baiti fisha alam. Baiti fisha alam. Wahua karibun minal jamia. Wahua karibun minal jamia. Jamia. Uh, 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 yes. Rahu wa karibun minal jamia. Okay. Now, let us look at the translation. Assalamualaikum as usual. Peace be upon you, ya Rania. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and his blessing. Okay. And now, we have this question. Aina baituki. Yes. Do you remember what is this word? Aina. Where? Where, yes. So this is where. So previously we learned how to say, where are you from? Uh, what do you, What is the question? Where are you from? Where do you come? Min aina anta. Min aina anta. Yes, yeah. So here we just take the word aina. Aina baituki. Uh, what is the meaning? Aina baituki. Where your house? Where is your house? Yes, thank you, Afina. Aina by Tuki. Where is your house? Aina by Tuki Amira. Aina by Tuki ya Safia. Aina by Tuki ya Atira. If I want to ask uh, Zakir, I will say Aina by Tuka. So I will say Aina by Tuka ya Zakir. Yeah. So this is key and ka. You have learned that. Okay. Now look at the answer. Rania says by T F Shalam. This is how you say. Oh, I my house is. In Sha'ala, my house is in Chiras, my house in Baiti, Fi. Yeah, so Fi. We use the word Fi to say in. Baiti, Fi, and then you put the name of your place. Fi Sha'ala. And the next phrase Wahua Karibun. Wahua Karibun. Okay, now what is the meaning of Wahua? Wa, one word, and hua, another word. Yes, anyone? And it. And he, he or it? It. It, okay. Shukran, Amira. Okay, from our previous lesson, we have said that the word hua can be translated as hua he, if you're referring to a person, or it can be translated as it if you are referring to an object. So, in this sentence, what do you think? Hua is referring to a person or to an object? Object. Object. What is that word? Aljamia. Uh, is it aljamia? It must be a previous word. Baiti. Baiti. Yes, correct. Yeah. So this is how we understand a domir. If you see a domir in the in the sentence, you have hua, you have hia. You have, an, uh, of course, hua and hia. For anta, it is easy. Anta is always you. But if they use the word hua or hia, or they use the word hu, the domir mutasil, hu and ha, then you need to find, you need to discover. This domir is referring to which word? Uh, this is the example. Hua, this is referring to baiti. Then you can translate an it. If it is referring to a person, then of course, you have, we will translate an he. Yeah? So it depends. It will depend on the on the word that it, it is referring to. Wahua and it is. So in this sentence, the word hua means it. And it is karib. And the house is karib. Karib, this is uh, this means near. 
Qarib. So you, you might want to to add this in your vocabulary list. Yeah, Qarib, near. How do you say uh, it is near? Then you say Qaribun, Qarib. Wa huwa Qarib, and it is near. And this house is near Min Al Jamia, Min Al Jamia, Min. This is Min. Of course, the the fatha it is because of the alif lam. We want to combine the two words, then we say Mina Minal Jamia. Otherwise, we just say Min. Wa huwa Qaribun Min Al Jamia. So, what is the meaning? Near the masjid. Uh huh. Jamia. Qarib min al Jamia. Near from university. It is near from the university, or it is near to the university. Yeah. Wa huwa qaribun min al Jamia. Yes, correct. It is near to the university. So mean it is from. Okay. So in Arabic, if you want to say near to something, then you say qaribun min. Yeah. So this is the phrase that you should remember. Qaribun min. Next time you don't have to think. What is near kari? What is to ila? Then we don't say that. We say min. Yeah. Remember the phrase. Kari bon min al jamia. So it is near to the university al jamia. Okay. So done with the first part. Any any question? Anything you want to ask? No. Okay. Now we go to the uh, next sentence. Okay. Starting from here. Anti. Yeah. Ikrau. Wa anti. Aina Taskunina. Wa Aina Taskunina. Or you can just say Wa Aina Taskunin. Askunu fi maskani talibati. Askunu fi maskani talibati. Fil jamiatil islamiyati. Al Alamiati Malaysia. Al Alamiati Malaysia. Malaysia, not Malaysia, Malaysia. Malaysia. Uh, because this is the country, not the nationality. Yeah, Malaysia. Okay. Wa anti aina taskunin. Then wa anti and you. And about what about you? Aina taskunin. So here we have a new word. Aina taskunin. Aina means where? And what is this taskunin? Okay, stay look at leave. stay or live. Yes, thank you, Zakir. That is the word to stay or live. Okay, now look at this word. This word, this is a verb. This is a fiel. Yeah, this is a fiel. And for fiel, they will have. They, you will have a, a few a, a different version. Because when you use a fiel, you want to use the fiel with a with a male, with a female, okay, with I, with you, with we, with they. Then the word will have to change slightly. So it is just like in English. Sometimes you say stay, sometimes you say stays. But in English, it is only stay and stays. But in Arabic, there are a few versions. When you want to say I stay, this is the word. When you want to say you stay, then you have to change something. When you want to say she stays, you have to change something else. Yeah. So here, okay. Uh, I just want to show you that this word, what is this word? So take out the ya and nun. Take out the ya and nun. So once you uh, took out the ya and nun, what will happen? What is the word? What is the remaining of the word? Remove the ya and nun. So the word is? Taskun. Taskun. Yes, correct. Taskun and normally the nun is with the dhamma. We say taskunu. Taskunu, yeah. So that the word taskunina is actually taskunu. Uh, but why do we have two different versions? It is because of two, it, we are using two, two different person. Taskun, what is the meaning of taskun and taskunin? Uh, as Zakir mentioned earlier, it means stay. Who stays? It is you. So for both words, Taskunina and also taskunu, it means you stay or you live. You stay or you live. Okay, the question is, when, when we say you, which one is for male and which one is for female? Now, look at here. They put the word auntie. So from here, uh, what can we tell? Which one is for auntie? Is it taskunu or taskunina? Of course, it is very obvious. 
Taskunina. Yes, correct. So Taskunina, the verb that comes with this ya and not this is for auntie. Uh, then we say, where do you stay or where do you live? But I'm asking, I'm asking a female. Yeah. But if I want to ask a male, then I don't say, wa anti aina taskunina. What should I say? Uh, we don't say wa anti, we will say wa. Wa anta. Okay. And then what else? I, aina taskunu. Yes, correct. Yeah. So aina taskunu. Antaskunina is for anta and taskunu this is for sorry taskunina is for anti and taskunu is for anta yeah so this is the difference between the two okay we will look at similar example after this okay, now we look at the answer and zulfa says askunu fi maskani atalibat okay you look at this word askunu this is similar to the word taskunu and also Taskunina. So, can you guess what is the meaning of this word? Askunu. I live. I live. Yes. So this is I. Yeah. Askunu the alif that is referring to me. I. Askun. I stay or I live. Yeah. So this is I. Askun. I live or I stay. Depend. Depends on your context. Fi maskan atalibat. Fi in. Maskan. Okay, look at this word. Maskan. Maskan. If you look at this word, maskan, it has a similarity to the word taskun, and to the word askun, and to the word taskunin. What is the similarity between these three? Uh, we just take these three words: askun, taskun, and maskan. What is the similarity that you can see? The, the root word. Okay, the root word. What Kaf is the root word? Sin. Kafnun. Kafnun. Okay, Zakir said, yes, the similarity between these three words is they have the same letter. Sin, Kaf, and Nun. Maskan, you still, you also have the same word. Same letter, sorry. Sin, Kaf, and Nun. The same for the word Taskun. Sin, Kaf, Nun. And they are in the same sequence, sin, after that the kaf, and after that the nun. So what does it mean? Uh, it means that in Arabic, we have words that that uh, that comes from the same root word. So Arabic language is a language that is based on a root word. Yeah. So you have this root word, and then from this root word, it can be changed to other forms of the uh, other words. Yes. So this is one example. The root word is sin, kaf, and nun. So... Taskun, and then it becomes a verb. Stay, I live. Askun, I, I, I live. Taskun is you live. Now, the word is maskan. Okay. Now, what do we have here? We have ma in front of the word ma. Okay. So, this is a clue. If the, if the word start with meme, and the meme is with a fatha ma, and most of the time, the meaning is a place. Again, I repeat. If the word start with ma, meme, meme with fatha, most of the time, the meaning is a place for that activity. So what is that activity? What is the activity here? When you say sin, kam, non, sin, kaf, non? Stay. Stay or live. What is the meaning of maskan then? Can you guess the meaning of maskan? Didn't stay. Again? Do not stay. Don't no, stay. No. No. It is not don't stay. What did I say earlier about this ma? Yes, place? anyone. A place. Ma is a place. So when I say maskan, what is that? A place. A place. A place for what? Resident. A resident. It is a place to stay. It is a resident, yes. It is a place to see. That is the general meaning for the word maskan. Ma, this is the place, and sin kaf non from this word live. So maskan is a place where people live. That is called the maskan. That is the general term. But in the context, you have to uh, look at other words so that you can translate it correctly in, in, in that context. So what is this maskan? What is the meaning of the maskan in this context? Next word is talibat. Talibat. Okay, look at this word talibat. 
there is a word that is similar to this tolly but that you have learned what is that word tolib tolib yes yeah. so this this word is similar to the word tolib and when we say tolib what is that students students how many how many and uh, is it for male or for female when i say tolib Male. Male, uh, one or plural? Mufrad or jama? Mufrad. Mufrad, yeah, because last class, in the last lesson, we say, ana talib, huwa talib. So it is referring to a single per singular. Talib is a student. Talibat, you have the same word, talibat. Then here it means student as well. But how many students? That is number one. How many students? And number two, is this for male or for female? Okay, now you look at what do we have here? You have at the end, Alif and also Ta. Alif and the Ta. Okay. Next time, when you see a word ending with Alif and Ta, what does it mean? It means that this word is plural, Jama, and feminine. So, how do you translate the word Taliban then? Female students. Female students. Yes, that is correct. Female students. We say Taliban. So, what is the meaning of this word? Maskan is Taliban. Maskan is the place for, of, for stay for the student, for female student. What is that place? Hostel. Your hostel, yes. Uh, so this is the meaning of the word maskan in this particular context. Yeah, maskan, maskanu talibat, maskanu talibat. We say the hostel of the female students. Yes, askun fi maskani talibat. And where is that maskan? Fil jamiatil islamia, al alamia. We have this. What is this place? Al jamia, al islamia, al alamia, Malaysia. UIA. UIA, okay. Now let us look at the word, individual word. Al Jamia? University. 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 Al Islamia? Islami. Islami. Islami, okay. So this word, look at this word, Islamia. What is the original word? I mean, the, the word before. Yeah. Ah, the word is Islam. Yes, this word comes from the word Al Islam or Islam which is the religion, Islam. And yeah? look at the word carefully, yeah? Islam. So now, what happened to the word is that they have this ya with the shadda. Have you seen this ya with the shadda before? In previous lesson? Yes. Yes, yes. When, when do you see that? Nationality. Nationality, yes. When we want to add nationality, you add that ya. For example, uh, sin, we say sini, yeah? Thailand, we say Thailand D. So, but at, at that lesson, when we add the ta, we say, oh, this is the nationality of that country, Malaysia, Malaysian. But what is this year actually? Ah, the function of this year is to say that it has something to do. Has something. No, it is related uh, to make it easy. It is related to that particular word. For example, when you say Asin, the country is called Asin. You want to have a word. You want to say, oh, it is related to China. What do you say? Then you will take the word Sin and you will add Ya and Shadda at the end. Sini. So what is the meaning of Sini? Something that is or something or someone that is? Related to China. Yes, correct. That is the actual meaning of this ya. So the function of that ya is actually to say, oh, this person or this thing is has something to do with China. Therefore, how do you translate the, the word sini? It becomes an adjective. So now it becomes an adjective. No, no, not the country anymore. The country is seen, the adjective is sini. And of course, in our previous lesson, when we say sini, it is referring to the nationality. Jinsi ya, yeah, but uh, the, the actual meaning of ya is just to say it is it has something to do with that. So Islami, uh, when we add this word Islam and then you add the ya, Islam is the religion. But when we say Islami yun, what does it mean? Now? 
So that that object is or that particular item is related to Islam. Islam. So how do you translate it in, in English? We say Islamic. Uh, it is not Islam anymore. It becomes an adjective, Islami. Islami in Arabic, we say Islami. Yes, so another function of this year is to turn that word into an adjective. Uh, you cannot say Islam, al jamiatul Islam, no. Because Islam is a religion. Uh, you want to make it an, an adjective. That is why we add the ya, Islami. And this is number one, yeah? So that is the function of the ya. And secondly, after the ya, we have a ta. And this ta, why, why do you have the ta? Okay, let us go back to this sin and sini. When do you say sini and when do you say sini ya? The one that ends with the ta. Sini for men. Sini men. for male, sini ya? For female. For female, yes, correct. So this word Islami, Islami is if that object or that person is of a male word. If you are using a male word, then you say Islami. But since this is referring to Jamia and Jamia has this ta marbuta, and from our previous lesson, we know that ta, that ta marbuta is referring to a female word. Therefore, they have this, they add this ta as well. So that is why now it becomes Islamiyah. Yeah. So Islamiyah and Islami is the same, the same word. It is the same word, only for male and female. Now, you do you understand the meaning of this? Yeah. It is not only for nationality. Yeah. It can be for anything as long as it is related to that. It becomes an adjective Islami. Al Jamiatul Islamiyah. Now we look at the next word. Al Alamiyah. This is similar. This is similar to the word Islamiyah. Uh, what is the actual word? Like the word Islamiyah, the actual word is Islam. So what about this word Al-Alamiyah? Al-Alam. Yes, correct. That word, the word is from this word Alam. And what is an Alam? What is Alam? In Malay, we say Alam as well. And previously, Geography, uh, we call it Elmo Alam. What is Elmo universe. Alam? Universe, universe, universe. Alam is Alam universe. Uh, alam normally we translate as the world. Uh, universe is when you say Alamin. Alamin, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin, the Lord of the universe. Yes, that is Alamin. But this is just Alam. Literally, it means the world. So now you want to say, oh, this university has something to do with the world, or it is international. Uh, it it accepts a uh, student from all over the world. Then we say, we, we use this word alam, we add the ya. We want to say, this is related to the world, international. So we say alami. Uh, that is the function of the ya. You make the word alam into ad adjective. And of course, you, when you translate in English, we say, we don't say world, worldly, uh, you say international yeah but the origin of the word is the word alam yeah alam and this star again because the word you are referring to is a female word yeah so this is the word al alami al jamiatul islamiyatu al alamiya malaysia okay any question for this one aina taskunu aina taskunina askunu fi mahalla askunu yeah in in iam of course we use the word mahalla but in other in Arab university, they use this word, maskan, or simply they use the word sakan, sakan, yeah, to refer to the hostel. Okay, then now let us go to the next question. So here we have this word, come, let me bring this word uh, to the next line so that we can look at it easier. Come. All right, now let us read the word. The, the sentence, Kam ghurfatan fi baitiki. Kam ghurfatan fi baitika. Baitika or baitiki? Baitika. Uh, this is to Rania, yeah? so she is asking Rania, then of course it should be baitiki. Okay. Uh, so what is this, kam ghurfatan? We have learned this word, kam. How? How, how uh, it is not how. How is kaifa? How much? How much or how many? Yes, so this is kaifa. This is kam, yeah? 
So come is how many you are asking for the number. Then you say come. If you want to say how, then you say kaifa. Kaifa haluka. How are you? This is come. Come gurfa. Come gurfa tan. Okay. This word means room. So now Zulfa is asking. Oh, sorry. Uh, Rania is asking Zulfa. Uh, no, Zulfa is asking Rania. Kam Gurfatan. How many rooms? How many rooms? Yeah. Kam Gurfatan fi baitiki. How many rooms? Fi baitiki. In your house. In your house. Yes. Fi in baiti house and ki is here. How many rooms in your house? How many rooms do you have in your house? Yeah. How many room? Kam Gurfatan fi baitiki. Kam gurfatan fi bait. So gurfa is room. This is a mufrat word. Okay, now let's look at the answer. How do you answer this? If they want to say, how many do you have? So you can say, you jadu. Ikra'u. You jadu fi baiti. You jadu fi baiti. Salah sugurafin lin naumi. Yes. Uh, you jadu fi baiti salas ghurafin lin naumi okay we continue wa ghurfatul julusi wa ghurfatul julusi wa hammamani please make a correction yeah this should be ni wa hammamani wa hammamani wal matbakh Okay, wal matbakh. Naam. Okay, what is this? Kam gurfatan fi baitiki. How many rooms in your house? Okay, Rania says, you jadu fi baiti. You jad. Okay, this word means it, it is available. We say you jad. You jad? Naam, you jad. Available? Is it available? Yes, it is available. That is the meaning of the word you jad. You jadu fi baiti. It is available in my house. What 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 do you have in your house? You jadu fi baiti salasu gurafin. Salasa. How many? Salas. Three. 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 Yes, three guraf. So in my house there is three guraf. Guraf. This is similar to the word. This is actually from the word gurfa. So what is this word? Rooms, yes. So this is the plural. This is the jama for the word gurfa. Yeah. So gurfa, gurfa. This word is mufrad, singular word, and guraf. It is a plural word. So you can put this into your in your uh, mufrad and jama list. Okay, mufrad and jama. Gurfa and guraf. Gurfa and guraf. Fi baiti salat guraf. You can okay, for this for this answer. You can, you have the option to use the word yujat. You can use the word yujat or you can skip the word yujat. If you skip the word yujat, you just say, fi baiti salah sugurah. That is also correct. Yeah. So actually, we do not need this word yujat because the word, the meaning is there already. Yujadu fi baiti salah sugurah. So in my room, it is three rooms, uh, sorry, three rooms are available. Okay, now we want to look at this room. What kind of room is that? Salasu guraf lin naumi. Salasu guraf lin naumi. Okay. For this word, lin naumi, actually, for sleep. for sleep. Yes, thank you. Who said that? I, I didn't see your name. Okay, it is lin naumi. This is actually two words. These are two words, li, and another word is annaum. Anaum, anaumi. So when we combine the two words, we say lin naumi. Yeah, we remove the alif. Okay, what is li? Li. This is similar to the word la in our previous in the ayah. We say wajah ala lakum for. Li means for, and the next word is anaum. Yes, what is naum? Yes, as salatu khairun min an naum so naum is sleeping so what do you think what room is this bedroom bedroom yes yeah. so this is how we say bedroom in arabic yeah 
we say Ghuraf, of course, this is for plural, Ghuraf Linaumi, rooms for sleeping, bedrooms. If you want to say sing, a singular word, then you use the word Ghurfa again. Ghurfa, replace the word Ghuraf with the word Ghurfa, we say Ghurfa Linaumi. Ghurfa Linaumi, or you just say Ghurfa to Naum, that is also correct, yeah? Ghurfa and Naum. Okay, so this is how do you say a uh, bedroom, the bedroom. Bedroom is Urfa Linau. Now, uh, there is another room in the house. Wa Urfa. And the room for Al Julus. Uh, this is another word, Julus. Julus means sitting down. Sitting, sitting down, sit down. Urfa Al Julus. So, what do you think? What room is the room where everybody will just sit down? Living room. Living room, yes, yeah. So, this is the term. To say living room, we say Urfa al Julu. There is another term actually. You can refer to the dictionary for another term for living room. They call it Urfa al Maisha. Uh, but in some book, they just say Urfa al Julus. Yeah? So this is referring to the same room. Urfa Julus. And now we have another room, another place in our house. Hamamani. Uh, now, if you look at this house, is this Mufrat? Musanna or Jama? Hamamani. Musanna. How do you know this is Musanna? Alif Nun. Alif and Nun. Yes, correct. So when you want to know what is this word actually, remove the Alif and Nun. So what is the word? Toilet. No, I mean the. Hamama. Okay. Hamam. Hamam. The last letter, Mim, you just. Silence it, or you just put a dhamma, hammamun. Yes, that is the word, hammamun. And what is hammam, who mentioned just now? The meaning of hammam? Toilet. Toilet, ah, Afina, Afina said this toilet. Hammam is actually more to the bathroom. Hammam is used for bathroom. So how many bathroom in the house? Two bathrooms, yeah? Two bathrooms. So because of this alif and non, it means two. Wa hammamani and two bathrooms. And finally, wa al matbakh and matbakh. Matbakh is a kitchen. Wa al matbakh, yeah? So this is how you say, oh, there is, there is, a, there is a room, there are three rooms and so on. There is a toilet, there are two toilets, we say, you jadu fi baiti, or as I said, there is no need to say you jadu. You can just say fi baiti salasu ghuraf until the end. Okay, any question? Any question regarding these rooms? You can you can Google yeah, you, or you can go to YouTube. Uh, you can go to YouTube, search for rooms in Arabic, and there are plenty of videos okay, uh, telling you how to say how to call this room. What is a store, for example? Uh, so please go and find. Uh, what else do you have in your room? Uh, beside the living room, living room, your your store, yeah, your kitchen, and so on. Okay, go and find the words. Uh, okay, done. Now we uh, we move to another part of the hewar. So now this is about the verb, the actions, the verbs. What do you do uh, in your living room? What do you do in your bedroom? What do you do in the kitchen and so on? Uh, so we are going to learn a few words, yeah, a few related verbs. First, we look at the question. How do you ask the question? Okay, iqra'u. Maza taf'alina fi ghurfati naum? Yes, Maza Taf Alina Fi Gurfati and Naum. Okay, do you need remember? Oh, okay, sorry, this is a new word. Maza means what? Maza means what? What? Maza Taf Alina. What? Taf Alina, this is uh, another verb. Now, uh, if you look at this word, it ends with this ya and nun. This is similar to this word. You remember this word, taskunina, the, the last letter, the last two letters, the ya and also the nun. 
Uh, so you can take this out. Take this out from the word uh, Taf'alina. So what what is the word that you get? Taf'alu. Taf'alu. Yes, thank you, Safiya. Taf'al. Yes, that is the word. Taf'al. Taf'alu. Okay, so the word is Taf'alu. Taf'alu and Taf'alina is the same word. It is a verb, the same verb. What is the meaning? Taf'alu and Taf'alina, the meaning is do. Do. So, with the meaning of the sentence, Maza Taf'alina, what do you do? That is the meaning of this sentence, yeah? What do you do? What do you do? Maza Taf'alina. And what is the difference when we say Taf'alina and Taf'alu? Maza Taf'alu, Maza Taf'alina. This is similar to our previous word, maza, uh, sorry, Aina Taskunina and Aina Taskunu. When do you say Taskunu? When do you say Taskunina? Taf'alina for female. Taf Alina for female and to be specific, which domir for female? Auntie. Auntie, yes. So Taf Alina is for auntie and the other one is for anta. Yes, good. So this is auntie uh, because Zulfa is asking Rania. So she says, Maza Taf Alina, what do you do? But if we want to ask uh, a boy, then what should we ask? Maza? Mother Taf Alu. Yes, good. Yeah, Mother Taf Alu. So with regard to this Taf Alu, Taf Alina, we will learn that inshallah in a topic uh, called the fi'el, yeah, the verb. So when what what do you use when you want to use it for anta, anti, and so on? Mother Taf Alina fi gurfati nau. What do you do in the? Uh, what is gurfati nau? The bedroom, yes, correct. Yeah, so this is the room for sleeping just now in the bedroom. So, what do you do? Mazataf Alina fi gurfa and now. So, what did Rania do? Rania, Ikrau Anamu fi gurfati now. Yes, Anamu fi gurfati now. So, uh, what does uh, who is this? Zulfa? Is it Zulfa or Rania? Uh, Rania, what does Rania do in the Gurfatin Naum? Sleep. Sl sleeping, sleeps, yes. Anamu means sleep. But who sleeps? I sleep. Of course, this is I. Yeah? So when we say Anamu means I sleep. Anamu, Anamu. Anamu fi Gurfa Naum. I sleep in the bedroom. Anamu fi Gurfati Naum. Okay. So this is another verb, yeah? Uh, so after the class, you can list out, you can take out uh, all the verbs, all the new verbs that we have, like askuno, anamo, what else? Taf uh, alu, and so on. Anamo fi gurfati now. Okay, now another verb, another question. So now this is another question. Ikra'in, ikra'u. Aina tartasilina ya zulfa. Aina Tartasilina Yazulfa. Yes. Aina Tartasilina. Aina where Tartasilina. Again, this is a verb that ends with ya yeah and non. Take this out and what is the verb? The verb is Tartasilu. Yeah? So write it down Tartasilu. Tartasilu, Tartasilina. What is the difference? Of course, just, just what like what we had earlier. One is for male, one is for female. And to be specific, Tartasilina is for auntie. And Tartasilu is for anta. What is the meaning of Tartasilin or Tartasilu? Mean to take a shower. To take a bath. To take a shower, that is called Tartasilu. Yeah, Tartasilu. Ah. Aina Tartasilina, where do you take your shower? Ya Zulfa or Zulfa, where do you take your shower? So, what does Zulfa say? Ikra'u. Artasilu fil hammam. 
Artasilu fil hammam. Okay, guess the meaning. Tartasil. Just now we had the word tartasilu, tartasilina. Now it is changed to artasilu. I I take a shower in bathroom. Yes, correct. That is the meaning. Artasilu. I take a shower. I take a shower. So don't worry about this. How do you know it is I? How do you know it is you? So we will learn that in another lesson. At the moment, just take it as the new vocabulary. I take a shower. So we will say artasilu fil hammam in the bathroom. So I take a shower in the bathroom. Artasilu fi al hammam. Yeah. Okay. Now the next one. Ikrau. Hal tuhibina baytaki ya rania? Hal tuhibina baytaki ya rania? Yes. Hal tuhibina baytaki ya rania? Hal tuhibina baytaki ya rania? Here we have this word hal, and of course this is a question word when you want to say do, does, is, or are, you say hal. Now we have another verb to hebina. Again, you see this ya and non. Now you know this is for female. What is the actual word? To heb. To heb, and of course you need a vowel. So the last vowel is the with the dhamma. To hebu. So you say to hebu. Hal to hebu or hal to hebina. Anyone knows what is the meaning to hebu? To hebu. To hebina. Yes, this is love. So, how to hebina or how to hebu? Do you love? Do you love? For male, you ask him. You say how to hebu. For female, we say how to hebina. How to hebu baitaki? Do you love your house, Yarania? How to hebina baitaki, Yarania? Do you love your house, Yarania? What does Rania says? Ikrau. Naam, o hebu baiti. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm okay. Okay. Uh, what does Rania say? Yes, I love my house. Yes, I love my house. Uh, yes, so I love. Yeah, Uhebu means I love. So all of this uh, alif uh, in the beginning of all these verbs, these are all the indicator that this is for I, for Anna. Uhebu, Agtasilu, I. Uhebu, I, I love. Yeah, so Uhebu, this is similar to Tuhebu. Same word, ohebu ay. And another question. Ikrau, limaza tuhebina baitaki. Limaza baitaki. Yes, limaza tuhebina baitaki. Okay, here we have a new word, limaza. This is a new question word that we learn in this lesson. Limaza, this is actually a combination of li plus the word maza. And what is li? What is maza? You have learned these two words. Maza is what? For what? For what? Yes, correct. So li is for and maza is what? For what? But of course, you don't say for what. For what reason? You say why. And that is the meaning of the word limaza. Yeah, you say why. Now you have an additional word. You have learned maza. You have learned aina. Now you add the word limaza. Why limaza? Limaza to hebina baitaki. Why do you to hebina? Why do you love? Yes. Why do you love your house? Limaza to hebina baitaki. Now we want to look at the answer. How how do we answer? If the question has this word limaza, yeah, limaza. Why do you love your house? Okay, now we look at the answers. Rania says, "Ekrau, ohebu baiti li anna hu nazifun." Yes, ohebu baiti li anna hu nazifun. Ohebu baiti. I love my house. I love my house. Okay, good. Ohebu baiti is I love my house. Now we have this word. 
lianahu. Okay, this is actually a combination of the first word is liana and the second word is the domir hu. What is this liana? Uh, this is what you use when, when they ask you limaza. Why? Then we say liana because. Yeah, uh, so that is the word to say because we say liana. And normally when you say liana, you want to you want to combine to another word. Because he, because it, because I, because you, because we, and so on. So you need to use a domir for that purpose. And what is the domir that you should use to combine to liana? You should use the domir motasil. Why motasil? Because we want to combine. Yeah, we want to combine. So here they choose the word who. So what is the meaning of liana who? Liana who? Liana is because who is? Yes, what is who from our previous lesson? His? Yes, from our previous lesson, who means his. Uh, or another word, another meaning for the word who? His or? It. It. Uh, it's. Yes. So that is normally, that, that is the normal translation for the word who. Yeah, Either his or it's. To indicate a position but uh, other than to indicate position then this domain is also used together with certain words such as the word liana so when you use liana you want to say because i we don't say liana ana you have to use the domain mutasil so you will say liani if you want to combine with you you don't say liana anta okay in this case we have to say lianaka so what about liana who because uh, what is the meaning of who who are he and also it he or it so here it is referring to a person or an object liana who object. object object and what is the word the house yes so how do you translate the word liana who because because my house. Uh, because my house. But of course, you don't mention by T, so you don't say because my house. Because it. Because it is. Uh, that is the translation of the word who in this word, uh, in this sentence. Yeah? Because it. So this word it is referring to by T. Because it is. Because it is. So we say the Anna who. Because. And who here mean it. It is. Because it is. Nazif, Nazif. And what is Nazif? Nazif is another uh, word to show an adjective. Clean. clean. Yes, correct. Nazif means clean. So now you have two adjectives. Yeah, you have the word, uh, what was the word earlier? We have the word Qarib, near. Qarib. So now we have another word, Nazif. Okay, please uh, put these two words in your new vocabulary list. Yeah. The Annahu Nazif because it is clean, because it is clean. Because the house is clean. And then, then uh, this is just a phrase. This is a phrase that you will hear, you hear this a lot. Ikra'u, wan nazafatu minal iman. Yes, wan nazafatu minal iman. Yeah, wan nazafatu minal iman. And, wa is an. Nazafa, this is from the word nazif. Nazif, if you want to say, oh, a place, that place is clean, you say Nazif. Something is clean, you call it Nazif. But Nazafa, you look at the word Nazafa, it has this known, za and fa, similar to the word Nazif, known, za and fa. So the meaning is, is uh, it, it, it contains the meaning of clean. So what is the meaning of Nazafa? It means the cleanliness. Nazafa. So this saying, says one nazafatu minal iman cleanliness is from iman or it is part of iman it is from the iman itself so if we have iman then of course we need we need to ensure the cleanliness of our environment uh, yes again amira by what is that by tea by by tool, okay. What about by tool? 
uh, it, it is considered as house. Oh, okay. You mean when you have the the lamb at the end, right? Okay. Uh, what is what is the example? Where do you hear this word by tool? So, mukaddis. Ah, okay. Thank you. Good question. By tool mukaddis. Okay. The word is of course by tone. What happen if I add alif lam to the word? How do you combine the two words? Oh, okay. uh, now you get the answer, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So similar to Abdul. Abdul Abdul uh, whatever name that you have. Why 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 is that dol at the end? Because of the next word that contains alif lam. For example, we say Abdul Latif. Abdul Latif. Uh, because of the, this alif lam. Baitul Maqdis, uh, the word that you mentioned. It is not Baitul Muqaddis, uh, it is Baitul Maqdis. So why do you hear the tol, the lam? It is because of the next letter that contains the alif lam. Baitul Maqdis. So what is this Baitul Maqdis? Where is this? This is a place. Where is this place? Baitul Maqdis. Anybody knows where it is where is this place? Baitul Maqdis. Palestine. Palestine. It is in Palestine. Yeah? So Baitul Maqdis is the uh, Jerusalem. Uh, they call it Jerusalem. Baitul Maqdis, or another name for it is Al Qudsu. Al Quds. So Al Qudsu is also referring to Baitul Maqdis. Yes. Any other question? Baitullah. Huh? Baitullah. Baitullah is house, house of Allah. Baitul Maqdis, of course, this is just, just the name of that place. Yeah, uh, We don't translate Bait and Maqdis, no. Taib Iqra'u Uridu an akhruja ilal madina 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 Uridu means I want I want, you say, uridu. 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 An akhruja. An, this is uh, similar to the word to in English. So we combine these two words together. Uridu an. If you want to say, I want to do this, I want to do that, you say, uridu an. Yeah, uridu an. Uh, uridu an akhruja. I want to akhruj. Akhruj is another fi'il. Uh, uridu is a verb, is a fi'el. Akhruj is another fi'el, means I go out. Fa, the phrase uridu and akhruj means I want to go out. Yeah. So here you have two new verbs, two new fi'el, uridu and akhruju. So you can add this uh, to the list of your uh, verb vocabulary. Urid, akhruj. Urid and akhruj ilal madina. I want to go out to the madina, uh, to the city. Summa Rania Ikra'u Mada Takraina Indama Tahrujina Mada Takraina Indama Tahrujina Tahrujina Mada Takraina Indama Tahrujina Min al bayti ya zulfa. Min al bayti ya zulfa. Yes. Mada takraina. Indama takrujina min al bayt ya zulfa. Mada takrain. Mada takrain. Yes. So here we have uh, this verb takrain. Uh, I believe in our previous. Not we have, do we have this word takra'u? Uh, this is similar to the word akra'u. Yes, you have learned that word uh, previously. Uh, do you remember what is akra'u? I always say ikra, ikra, but that is a common verb. Yes, what is ikra or ikra'u? Read. Ah, read. Yes, that is a command verb. We say ikra. But this is a, a fi'il. Uh, this is a present tense. So we say read in the present tense. 
And who reads? This is for auntie. This is for auntie, for you. You read. Because Rania is asking Zulfa, so this is for auntie. Maza takra'ina, what do you read? What do you read? Maza takra'ina. Indama takhrujina minal bayti. Indama when? What do you read? Okay, when? Takhrujina. Takhrujina, this is another verb. This is similar to the word akhruju. So can you guess the meaning for the word takhrujin? Akhruju is I go out. When we say takhrujin, okay, who goes out? This is similar to takra'in. You have this at the end. In, the ya and nun. And here you also have the ya and nun. So, yes, what is the translation? When you go out. When you go out, yes. So, this is also for you. Yeah, this is also for you. So, this is uh, the fi'el, takhruj, means go out, similar to the word akhruj, go out. But who goes out? Uh, this is for anti. When you have this ya nun. Uh, actually, it is ya nun together with the ta. So, you will learn this later. Yeah, in when we talk about the fi'el. The verb, then you will see all of these changes. Takhrujina, uh, again, this is for you. You go out. Yeah, for anti. This you is anti and not anta for female. Mada takraina, what what do you read? When takhrujina minal baiti, when you go out from the house. So what is the dua that you read? Uh, this is what she means. Ya Zulfa, O Zulfa. And Zulfa says, Ikra'u. Akra'u du'a. Akra'u du'a. Bismillahi tawakkaltu ala Allah. Bismillahi tawakkaltu ala Allah. Wala hawla wala quwwata illa billah. Yes, so this is something uh, I believe everybody is familiar with, right? I read the dua. Dua is dua. So I, this is for I again. I read. Akra. So do you notice when we say I with a fail, what, what is the letter that you see in the beginning of the verb? Alif. Alif, right? If you look at this word, uh, the word akra'u, you see an alif. If you look at the previous uh, fi'el, uh, uridu, for example, you again, you see an alif. If you look at the word akhruj, uh, again, you see an alif. So this is the alif in front of the fi'el. Uh, one of the meanings of that alif is to say I. So you don't have to use the word ana. Uh, you don't have to say ana and then followed by the verb, no. So in Arabic, you can skip all of this uh, pronoun that we have learned. Ana, anta, huwa, if you want to use with the verb. Yeah, uh, you will learn about that later, inshallah. Uh, at the moment, just uh, we just want to learn the new fi'el, the new vocabularies. Akra'u du'a, I read the du'a. So this is the du'a that we should read whenever you want to go to any, any place, you read this du'a. Whenever you go out from your house, you read this du'a. Bismillahi. Tawakkaltu ala Allah. Yes. Uh, can you guess the meaning? Bismillahi tawakkaltu ala Allah. Yes. What is the meaning? Bismillah. Bismillah is. Bismillah. In the in, name of Allah. In the name of Allah. Yes. Bismillah. B in isim. This is the isim. In the name of Allah. So, okay, what else? Tawakkal tu ala Allah. In the name of Allah, tawakkal tu ala Allah. Here you have this word, tawakkal, and we use this word in Malay as well. So, what do you understand by the word tawakkal? When we say tawakkal. Basara. Uh, yes, basara. But uh, normally the translation is when uh, you, you, we, we put our trust in Allah. Uh, it is not like just basara. No, it is basara. But at the same time, we have we put our trust in Allah. We believe that Allah will, okay, will bring something good for us. Allah will protect us. Uh, that is what we mean by tawakkal. Yeah. So we leave it to Allah. We have a trust on Allah. But of course, it must be 
uh, whenever we say tawakal, we, we must have our own effort as well. Yeah, tawakal is one thing and effort is something that we have to do. Uh, that is also compulsory. So both are compulsory. Yeah, uh, It doesn't matter which one do you do first, tawakal or effort. You must have them both. Yeah? Tawakal at the same time, you have the effort. Bismillahi tawakal to Allah. So here, tawakal, you have a trust. And this for this word, if you look at this word, this word, it is actually, the word is tawakal. That is the verb. And at the end, you have another letter, which is ta. So this is another fi'el. And that ta means I as well, similar to the alif at the beginning of the fi'el. So when you have a fi'el that ends with a ta, tu, especially with this domma, so this is also I. But what is the difference between this tu and the, the alif that you have seen earlier? Uh, this The difference is one is... Uh, past tense, one is present tense. Akhra, uh, this is for present tense. This is fi'il mudari and tawakkaltu, this is in the past tense. This is for fi'il madin. Here again, you, we will learn about this too, yeah? Madin, mudari, uh, and also fi'il amar. Uh, tawakkaltu, I put my trust in Allah. Allah, Allah, Allah here, in Allah. So I put my trust Allah in Allah. Bismillahi tawakkal tu ala Allah. Yeah, Bismillahi tawakkal tu ala Allah. And then we say uh, this phrase. Wala hawla wala quwwata illa billah. So this is also something that we normally hear. La hawla wala quwwata illa billah. La hawla wala quwwata illa billah. Yes, anybody knows what is the meaning of la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah? Anyone? Uh, la, what is la? No. no, okay, so here wow and la is no. So here we want to say there is no. No haula. No haula. Haula is. <coughs> haula means no, there is no, uh, there is no effort, there is no power. There is no power and. La quwwata, and there is no strength. Quwwah is the same word that we use in Malay, quwwah. It is from the Arabic word, quwwah. <coughs> there is no power and there is no strength. Illa billah. Illa, except billah. Be with, and Allah is Allah. Wala hawla wala quwwata illa billah. There is no power and there is no strength except with Allah. Except with the permission of Allah, then we can have the power, we can have the strength. So this is the dua. It is good if everybody can memorize this. Yeah? Bismillahi tawakkaltu ala Allah. La hawla wala quwwata illa billah. You can add al-aliyyi al-azim. Uh, it is the attributes of Allah. Allah al-ali, the most high and Al-Azim and the, the greatest. Yes. Okay, so this is the topic uh, for Al-Bayti. You have learned some important words, especially uh, related to parts of our house. Uh, the Ghurfa, the rooms, yeah? Uh, ghurfa and also and some verbs, some important fi'il. What do you do in this room? What do you do in that room? 